Hello YouTubers, today we are looking at this right here, the Brookstone Travel Tunes. It's actually a Bluetooth speaker made by Brookstone. You may remember that store from the mall. I don't know if they still exist, but at my mall they already disappeared from my mall uh, here in uh, Texas. So this um, speaker has a luxury design and um, has a three hour playtime Bluetooth 5.0 and it's minimal and mobile it also has an FM radio has the antenna right there or aerial if you want to call it that has a TF card I paid twenty dollars plus tax so let's open it up and yes it does look nice there's a little bit of dirt there so it's stereo it has two speakers on and off and has a hole there that might be a microphone we don't know nice and clicky and you can answer the phone through this that's pretty cool and you can put a telephone there if you want okay so let's start charging it when you charge it you do get an LED light it's actually red it kinda looks pink on the video because I have a very bad camera so the first thing I want to test is the radio so let me turn it on I'm gonna charge it while I do this review turn it on nothing happens let me try to get the radio part Okay, so I figured out how to work the radio. You have to double click here and then it's going to scan through the stations and then you can stop the station that you like. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get a copyright strike. So that's the reason why I can't showcase the radio because it's, I'm going to get a copyright strike. So now let's move to... Um, Bluetooth mode. So let me go get a ra uh, my tablet. Let's um let's go to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Okay, it's in Bluetooth mode. So let's go to settings and let's go to Bluetooth. And it's um here's a Here's something available right there. So it's connected. So now let's go to YouTube. Okay, so that works. So let's test the controls and see if um, you can navigate. You probably can't because this is connected to YouTube. Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. Let's go back.
Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Let's pause. I said pause. Kind of have to press it hard for it to work. So I guess the Bluetooth works. I don't have to test that. So now let's do the TS card and see how that works. Let me turn this off. And then you push. Music. So I'm not going to play that music because I'm going to get a copyright strike, but I think it works. Moves on. Okay, so the TF card works. Like I said, I'm not going to play any music because I'm going to get in trouble for that. So the last thing I can test is this right here. Okay, so here I have a music flash disc. So let's see what that does. Oh, you can't have it at the same time with this. So let me unplug this. The controls are not very, the controls you have to press hard for it to do anything. So I just want to let you know. So the flash thing does work. Let me take that off. So it goes back to the SD card. So I pretty much tested everything. The last thing I want to do is put a phone here and see how it looks. Okay, so here's my phone. So you would put it like that, I guess. It's kind of weird. Or you could put it, you can put it like that. It's up to you. Now the last thing I want to do, let's see if it'll hold a tablet. So here's a tablet. Yeah, it, it'll hold a tablet, but it's kind of kind of weird looking if you do that. So I don't think I could recommend that. I think it's better like that. If you want to put a tablet there, I don't recommend it. Okay, so my final thoughts on this um, Bluetooth speaker is that it's, uh, uh, it's an acceptable speaker. For $20, it does what I would expect. For, from a $20 speaker um, it's um, it's a little awkward but it, that's okay I think um, the antenna it only goes up you can't you can't rotate it and it does play music from the TF card or the flash memory which is great or Bluetooth connection and of course the FM radio there is no AM I have the phone stand, which can hold a tablet or a phone, whichever one you like. But the tablet looks really awkward on it, but it's possible to do if you really want to do it. 
according to the instructions this is not waterproof so do not submerge it in water even though it kind of looks like a military thing all this camouflage um, another thing I noticed is that you have to press really hard to um, to make the buttons work um, I did not test the the phone connection because I cannot imagine why anybody would want to answer the phone through this but if you really want to do that it does have this right here if you get a call as you can see you can press it and it'll answer press and hold and it'll it'll end the call and to reject a call you press and hold as well so it's a simple device and it works great thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up